bring in Oral Moran. He's a professor of international relations and political science at the University of Toronto. I want to welcome you to the broadcast. Cooperation seems to be the word of the day. Uh, we heard it from Modi, then Chinese President Xi Jinping also mentioning cooperation and more of a results-oriented partnership. Modi also saying BRICS needs to be more productive in the next 15 years. What do you read into all of these comments? Well, at one level, it was a kind of anodyne declaration, this New Delhi declaration, declaration that the four C's, uh, cooperation, continuity, consolidation, consensus. But underneath that, there were also tensions. You'll notice there was a declaration on Afghanistan where he talked about uh, encouraging peaceful intra-Afghan dialogue. All of the states in the region are worried about terrorism if in one form or another. But there are also significant differences, let's say, between India and Russia. India views the Taliban victory clearly as a grave and possibly, possibly imminent threat. Russia views it as a potential opportunity. They try to paper over their, those differences, and they try to build consensus on vaccinations, on economic cooperation, on the general issues of security. But Vladimir Putin seemed to be the most outspoken about Afghanistan, saying the withdrawal of U.S. forces uh, may present an even bigger crisis. What do you read into that? He's trying to have it both ways. Uh, he has a kind of binary view of the international system. A loss for the United States is something that he considers to be a gain for Russia. But it is not that simple. And I think he has a sense that there could be problems in the future because if there is terrorism emanating from Afghanistan, Afghanistan it spills over, Russia can be vulnerable, not just in terms of its allies in the Central uh, uh, Asia region, where Russia exercises a good deal of influence, but it could actually spill into Russia. At the same time, he welcomes the weakening of the United States. Putin understands that the defeat of the United States in Afghanistan creates doubt as to the reliability of the United States and particularly of the Biden administration in the eyes of the NATO allies in Europe. China uh, also pledging more vaccine doses to developing countries and more money for COVAX. Uh, some of the BRICS countries are really struggling with this pandemic. Another new variant has just popped up in South Africa. We know that Brazil and India, of course, have struggled in the past. There's been a lot of cooperation between these countries. Is there room for more? And, and what kind of a difference has it made? There absolutely is room for more. Even in the case of Brazil, which has had a very high death rate, if you produce something like 100 million vaccines a year and you need two doses, that's only 50 million people. Now, Brazil has over 200 million people. So that would not be adequate. In the case of South Africa, the rates of vaccination have been quite low. So they are in desperate need of getting as many vaccines as possible. So international cooperation, whether it is among the BRICS countries or in general, is very much needed because COVID is not only something that has had extraordinarily damaging health consequences, but they, it has induced also great economic uh, effects. Indeed it has. Uh, thanks so much for your insights. It was a delight talking to you. Thanks so much. Thank you.